authority, Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Here's a time lapse from our Terre Haute Chevy Cam. Looking northbound, you can see the clouds with some sunshine peeking through every once in a great while. Notice no real rain in the Terre Haute area, at least not during the afternoon and early evening hours, even though we've had a few showers pop up. Not anything showing up there on the north side of Terre Haute. You know, we're coming up on the holiday and wanted to give you a little interesting information. July 4th, extreme weather here in the valley, the hottest one ever as far as the high temp. That was three years ago during the heat wave and drought. 2012, we hit 101. The coolest morning temperature ever to start the 4th was in 1968 when we hit 50 for the low temperature. And in case you're wondering, what's the coolest high temperature ever? Well, in 2009, it was only 70 for the high. We also got about an inch and a half of rain. It pretty much rained the entire day on the 4th of July back in 2009. So there's some uh, interesting 4th of July weather. And by the way, we're wrapping up June here tomorrow night, and it's going to be warmer than normal by about 2.5 degrees. Also, of course, way above normal on precipitation. We hit 80 for the high today. 86 is where we should be. I mentioned 2012. Look at this. On this day in 2012, we hit 104. It was three years ago. We were in the midst of the drought and the heat wave, the second worst drought in our area's history. Only 1936 was worse than what it was in 2012. 65 was our low early this morning. Got a little rain overnight early today. Picked up about a third of an inch at the station. Look at this, 6.2 inches here. And some of you have seen double that amount during the month of June. It has been a very wet June. River in Terre Haute has crested slow fall now at 22.3 feet in Terre Haute. Sunrise tomorrow, 626, goes down at 920. That's 14 hours and 54 minutes of daylight. At the airport in Terre Haute right now, you saw what it looked like in Terre Haute with the cloud cover. 78 degrees, winds are northwest at about 10 miles per hour. Dew point up there in the mid-60s at about 65. Temperatures in the upper 70s close to 80. 79, Effingham, Olney, and in the Vincennes area. The dew point numbers are up, but they're not in the mid-70s. Northwest flow, which we have going on right now, does not allow us to see as much moisture in the air. So rainfall totals are not going to be as heavy now as what we had last week. You can see the airflow coming from the north down across this area. Now, there's little embedded areas inside that northwest flow where we see showers and storms developing. One moved through here early today. There's another one off to the north. That will come in during the day tomorrow. And then in the afternoon heating, we see some scattered showers and storms developing across the area. And you can see a few of those on ESP Live Radar, but it's not anything significant. So, first area of low pressure is moving on out of the area. Behind that, notice overnight, things kind of calm down. Then during the day tomorrow, once we hit noon, here we go, some scattered showers and storms develop with that next disturbance moving through. It should move through tomorrow night, and then by midnight tomorrow night, once again, we start to start to see the rain move out. Then on Wednesday, kind of the same thing. Once we get into the afternoon hours, you start to see some of these scattered showers and thunderstorms. So the next couple, three days, the chances of rain will be there with the highest chances during the afternoon and evening. Now, I talked about the northwest flow. Not as much moisture can be held in that northwest flow as opposed to the south flow. This is the forecast rainfall over the next 48 hours. You'll see some heavier rains southwest of our viewing area, but right now in this area, we're looking at maybe a half an inch to an inch over the next 48 hours. So not a real excessive rainfall, but those rainfall totals will go up after that as we see some more rain come in. Here's Thursday, into Friday, the front is stationary, into Saturday, there's the holiday, and right into Sunday. So you see the idea, scattered showers and thunderstorms will stay with us for a while, and the airflow continues to bring the cool air in from the north. That's why we're talking about a cooler the normal pattern as we start July. So here's the forecast for tonight then. A few showers, but not too many out there. 65 below. For tomorrow, a few scattered showers and storms, especially in the afternoon. 82 the high. For tomorrow night then, once again, just a few showers. They should tend to die off overnight. 62 the low. And after that, scattered showers and storms right through the holiday weekend. Right now, no day looks like a washout. And notice 80 the high on the 4th of July. So not a hot 4th of July, but some scattered storms. Yeah, you kind of hard to see the, I was like, uh, the fireworks I tried to hide, in between. I tried to hide the rain. You can't hide that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't work, did it? Try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it a tough summer for Jim. Yes. Grand Pew is here to talk about the wrecks, and the wrecks have been very fortunate to